for as long as we've been working with fossils, we have had a problem. How do you get these fragile, heavy things from where you dug them up to where you're gonna do paleontology to them without arriving in more pieces than you got them out of the ground in? Workers had to come up with, largely through trial and error, ways of holding them together across the trip. It had to be done quickly and cheaply in the field, using the materials that they had on hand. At first, it mostly consisted of just putting the specimens in sacks, tying them to a horse or loading them in a wagon, and hoping for the best. And at, I, I'm, I'm gonna open one of these and show you why that might not work out. So relying on the rock to hold your specimen together only gets you so far because the rock will break apart in transit. And unlike this toy, Bones were not made of particularly more robust material than the matrix surrounding them, which meant that by the time they got back east, the whole thing would just be crumbly mess, bones and all. Marsh called this transporting fossils in potato fashion. He described his collectors doing the pick, rake, and sack technique, which would be to take a pick, pry it, under the fossil to get it out of the ground and then rake the remains into a bag to, to transport it. It's, it is not anywhere close to what you would want if, if your goal is to have the fossil intact at the end of it. Now, why would workers rely on gunny sacks and prairie grass? Well, possibly they just didn't intuit that fossils were so, so fragile. You know, you're holding it, it's a rock. It, it seems like it's gonna hold together on its own pretty well. It's possible that, like, until they realized, oh, if the fossil breaks apart, I don't get paid, that they weren't, like, incentivized to worry about this. It's also possible that, like, they knew full well that this wasn't gonna work, but it was all they could do. They didn't have better materials available. I'm doing a bit of conjecture here because, like, while our sources for Europe are extremely limited, our sources for America are not much better until like the very tail end of this period when the dinosaur rush is, is winding down. 